To calculate the limit as x goes to infinity of the ratio x plus 3 to the x on top over 3 minus 2 to the x on the bottom, uh, we first just try to plug in and see what happens. So on the top, we've got um, as x goes to infinity, well, x goes to infinity. So we've got infinity plus um, 3 to the x is an exponential growth function because um, the base b there is 3 and 3 is bigger than 1 and so that was is going to be an exponential growth so we know then as x goes out to infinity uh, the function grows exponentially so it's also going to go to positive infinity so on the top overall we've got positive we've got positive infinity now taking a look at the bottom we've got that constant 3 and then from it we've got to subtract what happens to 2 to the x. Well 2 to the x again is a exponential growth function because the base 2 is bigger than uh, 1 and so the constant 3 out front doesn't really matter because the negative infinity that goes with it is what's dominating. And so this indeterminate form is positive infinity over negative infinity which is one that's appropriate for L'Hopital's rule. So we've got the limit as x goes to infinity. When we're applying L'Hopital's rule, we've got the ratio of the derivatives. With practice, this step here could probably be eliminated, but it's good to remind yourself what it is you're doing at each step here. So I go ahead and write it out for us. All right, so we've got, um, we've got the derivative on top there is the derivative of x, which is one. And then, um, and we've got to add to it the derivative of the exponential function 3 to the x. So those exponential functions have the extra uh, factor of natural log of 3 that comes out front, but then it would be just 3 to the x as its derivative um, past the constant multiple there. And then we go to the bottom, the derivative of 3 would just be 0, so then we've got the minus sign. And we've got the derivative of 2 to the x, which takes the form natural log of 2 times 2 to the x. And so you see after one application of L'Hopital's rule, we've made a bit of progress because our original function um, was a ratio of things that involved polynomial terms as well as exponential terms. And anytime we're taking derivatives of polynomial terms, we're just dropping powers. And so we are eventually uh, eliminating all those polynomial terms. So really we do again have that the exponential terms are the ones that are dominating. So then let's see what happens here. Um, we've got to assess our situation with indeterminate forms first. And so we've got the one plus a positive constant multiple of something that goes to positive infinity. So that would be a positive infinity on top there. On the bottom, we have a negative natural log of two. So a negative constant multiple of something that goes to positive infinity. That two to the x goes to positive infinity. So in the bottom, we've got the negative infinity because of the negative constant multiple of it. So again, we've got an appropriate uh, indeterminate form for L'Hopital's rule. And one more application of L'Hopital's rule is going to get rid of um, all of those uh, lower terms here. So the only one we have left is the plus one there. Um, and then on the bottom, we've really already uh, fixed our situation. It's just a constant multiple there of an exponential. Whoops, and we've got a DD exit. There you go. So now we've got the limit as x goes to infinity. And we have now the derivative of 1 is 0. So we just have this natural log of 3 is the constant multiple that is out front of the derivative of 3 to the x. And the derivative of 3 to the x is um, natural log of 3 times 3 to the x. And so likewise on the bottom we've got the negative natural log of 2 as the constant multiple in front of uh, the derivative of 2 to the x which is natural log of 2 times 2 to the x. So what we're really looking at here at this point is the limit as x goes to infinity um, on the top, we've got that natural log of 3 multiplied by itself, so we might as well condense it and write it as natural log of 3 squared uh, times 3 to the x. And then on the bottom, we've got the negative out front, but then it's natural log of 2 um, quantity squared uh, times 2 to the x. So now, before we continue here, um, we really need to think about what's going on. 
we could reassess our indeterminate form, and if we did, we would still get um, the positive infinity over the negative infinity just based on the constant multiple sitting out in front of things that go to infinity. But L'Hopital's rule is really not going to ever help us anymore. It helped us by getting rid of the x on top and the 3 that was on the bottom, but past that, we don't have anything um, that L'Hopital's rule is going to help because if we were... Uh, to apply L'Hopital's rule at this point, all we're going to do every single time we apply L'Hopital's rule um, by taking derivatives here, uh, we would just be getting extra factors of that natural log of 3 on top and the natural log of 2 on the bottom. And that's really never going to get us anywhere. It's never going to, um, it's not going to be wrong, it's just not going to be helpful. And so um, let's think now algebraically what we could do that would be helpful. And so this is just a copy of where we were from the other side. Uh, we know it's got a L'Hopital's rule um, indeterminate, but that's not the route we're going to go. We're going to go the algebra route at this point now, since we're really just looking at exponentials. So I'm going to uh, rewrite it here just so that it looks um, a little bit more... Um, well, I'm, I'm going to group things uh, strategically here. And so this first part that I've written here is a negative from the negative factor on the bottom. And I've just written it um, as natural log of 3 over natural log of 2 quantity squared using exponent rules. Because the more important one here is going to be uh, the rewriting of 3 to the x over 2 to the x as uh, 3 halves to the x power. That's the critical one to rewrite. And so what we're really looking at as we're taking the limit here is um, a negative constant multiple. So we've got um, this uh, negative natural log of 3 over natural log of 2 quantity squared. That's a negative value. It's just a constant. It's a negative constant. And then we're going to multiply it by uh, what happens when x goes to infinity of 3 halves to the x power. Well, 3 halves to the x power um, is an exponential growth function because 3 halves is bigger than um, is bigger than the 1. And so it's going to be an exponential growth function. So that's what uh, 3 halves to the x looks like. So as x goes to infinity, so does um, 3 halves to the x. And so we're looking at a negative constant times a positive infinity. So overall, our answer is going to be negative infinity for the answer to our original um, limit.